Okay, hi. All right, so I am going to demonstrate today how to sculpt out the nose and the cheekbones on an oversized face. All right, as I explained before, I'm doing this significantly larger than the bust you're working on for the purposes of you guys being able to see it. All right, so I have used the steps in the How to Construct a Human Head Face booklet to measure everything out. All right, how do I get started? Well, at this point, Sorry. your bust is going to be leather hard, right? So moving forward, what do you have to do every time you attach something to your face? Slip and score. Slip and score, score or score, slip and fuse. I'm gonna grab one tool, All right? Okay, all right, noses. Facial features seem a lot more complicated than they actually are. You need to look at your face, and this is when it's important to have a mirror near you, and you need to break down your facial features into simple forms, all right? So I have my bag of wedge clay here. I'm looking at my nose. I know I have a very long nose, right? So according to my measurements, I know that between my eye line and this line is where my nose goes. All right, so I've already created that space so that my nose is proportionate. The way I like to start out a nose is the same for everyone regardless of the shape of the nose. I like to make kind of a long piece, like a t almost a long teardrop shape, all right? It goes from right in between the eyes, right? Because remember, your nose doesn't start here. It actually starts right, right where your forehead ends and your brow line is, all right? So I like to start there. And then actually for nostrils, I like to take two balls of clay, right? So every nose is gonna kind of start out the same way, right? I'm not worried about my nose in particular right now. I'm just getting enough clay on there so I have something to work with. Everybody got that? Okay, this demo will not take long, I promise. It's quite short. All right, so I'm going to score that area because the bust itself is a little bit or your bust will be a little bit leather hard. I'm gonna score this kind of generic nose on, score and slip, right? So this is a very generic nose to start. Once I get it on there and I get it fused on, I'll begin to shape it to look like my nose, right? So now same thing with the nostrils. Just gonna score the clay, score the back of the nostrils. I have a little bowl with slip in it, but you guys know that you can take a little ball of clay, punch your finger through it and make a little clay ball. All right, so everything's scored and slipped. Now I need to fuse it on. So as I'm fusing it on with my fingers, with a paintbrush, with a burnishing tool, right? There's a bunch of different tools you can use to fuse it on. Now I'm really looking at the shape of my nose. So this project requires you to really look at yourself and define your features visually, right? I know I have a long nose. It has a little bit of a hook on the tip of it. I know I have big nostrils. My husband always jokes that if I was in the desert, I'd be able to breathe more easily and stay cool because of my big nostrils. So you've got to be able to poke fun at yourself and the aspects of your, your facial features. Everybody's different. Everybody's beautiful. But you've got to look at your face and really be honest about what your features look like. So notice what I'm doing here. I'm not only fusing on from the front, but I'm also looking at my nose from the side and I'm trying to get that shape. So I like to use my fingers and a burnishing tool is really helpful. I'm blending the nostrils kind of on. So I'm doing two things here. I'm blending the nose itself onto the face, but I'm also blending the parts of the nose to each other. So making sure that my nostrils get blended on to the bridge of my nose. So now I'm looking at the width of my nose, right? Some people are wider here, some people are more narrow. This is plastic clay, so I'm just sticking it on there. Fingers are really helpful. You guys are gonna be working a little bit smaller, so it will be a little bit trickier. You're probably gonna to have to use burnishing tools and paintbrushes a little bit more, right? So now I'm looking at the shape of the nose according to what I see in the mirror. Don't be afraid. If you put on too much clay, this tool, you guys are all familiar with this tool, is so wonderful for shaving off little bits of clay, for subtractive sculpting, right? It's great 
for going in and being like, oh, I made the little bend in my nose a little bit too pronounced. So I need to shave off a little bit. All right, so I can take a little bit of water. I can clean it up. I know my eyes are gonna go in here. So I make sure that nose is fused on. I might need to make some adjustments. If you put too much, um, too much clay around your nostrils, the burnishing tool is wonderful for kind of subtracting that clay as well, right? I'm scooping it down and removing some of the clay. Now, I'm getting closer to the shape of my nose. Not perfect yet, I need to rework it a little bit. But in the effort of moving on, I wanna show you how I do nostrils. I love to use a rubber tip burnishing tool that's cone shape. And I simply go in, push it into the nose, and make the shape of the nostril. Can everybody see that? Super easy. So we can look at our facial features and think, oh, this is so complicated. How am I gonna make my nose? How am I gonna get my nostrils right? But don't overcomplicate it. You have the tools and the resources to make this, right? And I need to, I kinda need to work the shape of my nostrils and my nose a little bit more, but I'm moving quickly because I want to get you guys working. But you see where I'm going here, right? It needs a little bit more work, but I'm getting there. It's looking a little bit more like my nose. I, think I need to work on the nostrils a little bit, all right? Then while you're here, it's a good time to look at your cheeks and how your cheeks blow, uh, uh, sorry, um, blend back into your face. So I notice here that I have to take some clay off on the side, but I also want to build out my cheekbones. So again, I am scoring, adding some clay, mixed with water for slip, scoring this piece of clay, adding some slip, and I want to use my fingers, use my burnishing tool, use the wood tool, whatever works, and I wanna start building out my cheekbones and helping to shape the side of my face the way it looks according to what I have in the mirror. And you guys see where I'm going, All right? This is a slow, incremental process, looking in the mirror, using the sculpting tools that you have, using this booklet to guide you, right? I would then build the other cheeks. And then I think next class, I said we're gonna do, I can't remember, but I think we said I said we're gonna do, it's definitely lips. I don't know if we're gonna do eyes and ears. All right? Any questions? Like I said, I like to keep the demonstration short. I'll keep building on this face. So you're gonna see this face develop just like you see your bust develop. All right? We're good? All right.